in the a a they wanted to find 9 in the place of input 9 9 minus 1 becomes 8 you know minus 1 power even number is plus 1 they want you to calculate 24 in the formula in the place of input 24 dear students they are asking you to take n greater than 1 because already they gave first term n 1 a 1 is given you see indicated term they want they have indicated 7 so in this formula put 7 you get it each series or each term depends on previous term if you want a2 you need to know a1 if you want a3 you need to know a2 like that welcome to the session dear students today i'll go ahead with the problems of the exercise 9.1 in sequence series in exercise 9.1 so we need to find the terms find the indicated term of the sequence in the exercise from 7 to 10 from problem to 7 7th problem to 10th problem they will indicate a term you should find that term so now an is given in problem 7 they give an what is an 4 times n minus 3 they want you to find a 17 17th term and also they want you to find a 24 a 24 these are the two parts now a 17 means what in the place of n put 17 4 into 17 minus 3 that is 7 minus 3 65 17 into 4 gives you 68 minus 3 65 they want you to find a 17 in the formula in the place of n put 17 4 into 17 minus 3 simplify you will get it then they want you to find a 24 they also want what a 24 so now you need to find a 24 a n is given what is a n 4 n minus 3 a 24 means just in the place of n put 24 4 into 24 minus 3 you know 4 4 is a 16 1 4 2 is a 8 8 plus 1 9 96 minus 3 that is 93 so therefore a 17 they want and a 24 they want so we got both what is a 17 7 4 is a 28 2 4 1 is a 4 plus 2 6 68 minus 3 65 we calculated it is 65 and they want you to calculate 24 in the formula in the place of input 24 4 into 24 minus 3 24 4 are 96 minus 3 gives you 93 these are the two values then a n they give a base n they give n square by 2 power n and they want you to find a 7 they want you to find just a 7 what is meant by a7 in the place of n put what 7 so a7 is equal to in the formula wherever n is there put 7 so it becomes 7 square by 2 power 7 you know 7 square is 7 7 is 49 2 power 7 2 2 is 4 see 2 power 7 means multiply 2 7 times 2 2 is 4 2 is 8 2 is 16 2 is 32 2 is 64 2 is 128 so denominator is 128 now this is the value further it is not divisible now we have they want you to find a n in the problem it we have done it indicated is equal indicated term they want they have indicated 7 so in this formula put 7 you get it then they want a 9 a 9 means in the place of n put 9 a n they give minus 1 whole power n minus 1 n cube they want a 9 in the place of n in the formula in the place of n put 9 so it will become a 9 is equal to minus 1 power 9 minus 1 9 cube so minus 1 power 8 9 cube 9 9 is 81 into 9 9 into 9 into 9. Minus 1 power even number becomes plus 1. Minus 1 power 8 is plus 1 into 9, 89, 81 into 9. If you multiply 9 1s are 9, 
so they want a9 a9 is just 729 so we have a formula a n is minus 1 whole power n minus 1 into n cube in the a a they wanted to find 9 in the place of n put 9 9 minus 1 becomes 8 you know minus 1 power even number is plus 1 and here 9 cube n cube in the place of n if you put 9 cube 9 cube is what 9 into 9 into 9 9 nines are 81 so 9 cube is what 9 3 times if you multiply 9 nines are 81 81 into 9 gives you 729 then a n they give n into n minus 2 divided by n plus 3 they want a 20 they want a 20 means in the formula in the place of n put 20 so it become 20 into 20 minus 2 divided by 20 plus 3 that is 20 into 20 minus 2 is 18 by 20 plus 3 is 23 now you can see it is not divisible even denominator we have 23 numerator we have 18 and so they are not divisible now 18 2 is 36 3 60 divided by 23 this is a 20 so both the numbers are not divisible so you can leave it i hope all of you understood they want a 20 means what 20 at the term so they gave formula n into n minus 1 by n plus 3 in the place of n put 20 20 into 20 minus 2 divided by 20 plus 3 so 20 into 18 divided by 23 you will get the value then from 11 to 13 write the first five terms of each of the sequence they want you to write first five terms they gave a1 what is a1 given 3 this is given and they give a n formula. What is a n formula? 3 times a n minus 1 plus 2. This is a formula. Now a1 is already known. Now in the place of n put 2, you will get a2. Put n is equal to 2. This will become a2. This will become 3 times a2 minus 1 plus 2. This will become 3 times a1 plus 2. So that is a2 is equal to 3 times a1 plus 2. This is the answer. But a1 is already given in the problem. What is a1 given in the problem? a1 they gave 3. So in the place of a1 substitute 3. So it becomes 3 into 3 plus 2. 3 3 is a 9. 9 plus 2. 11. So you got a2 now. You got a2 but they want you to find 5 terms. Now you go to what? a3. Go to a3. How to find a3? They gave a formula. A n. What is A n? 3 times A n minus 1 plus 2 is the formula given in the problem. If you see A n formula they gave. A n is what? 3 times A n minus 1 plus 2. So now they want A 3. In the place of N put 3, it will become 3 A into A times 3 minus 1 plus 2. That will become 3 times A 2 plus 2. That will become 3 times what is A 2? A 2 is what? 11. 3 times 11 plus 2. 11 3 is a 33 plus 2. 33 plus 2 is what? 35. Now you got A3. Now we will go to A4. What is A4? A4 is 3 times A4 minus 1 plus 2. That is 3 times A3 plus 2. That is 3 times what is A3 value? A3 value is what? 35 plus 2. 35 3 is a 3 5 is a 15, 1, 3 3 is a 9 plus 1, 105 plus 2, that is 107. Now we got A4 also. We need first 5 terms. A5. What is A5? In the formula, in the place of n put 5, so it will become 3 times A5 minus 1 plus 2. That is 3 times A4 plus 2. 3 times A4 plus 2 is A5. So A5 is 3 times A4. What is A4? 107 plus 2. So, 3 7s are 21, 3 1s are 3 plus 2. So, it becomes 3 23. So, you got 5 terms. So, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 are the 5 terms. A1 is given. A2, A3, A4, A5 we got. So, therefore, the terms are what? A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, 5 terms. A1 is given if you see that is 3. A2 you got that is A2 is how much? 11. A3 just now we got 35. Then we have A4 107. A7 323. 
each series or each term depends on previous term. If you want A2, you need to know A1. If you want A3, you need to know A2, like that. Next, A1, the give. what is A1? Minus 1. A1 is given minus 1. An is A, n minus 1 by n. n greater than or equal to 2. So, start from 2, that's the mean. A1 is given minus 1. Now, we go to A2. A2 means what? In the place of n put 2, it will become A base 2 minus 1 by 2. That will be that is equal to what a 1 by 2 and a 1 is what minus 1 by 2. So now we got the value of a 2. What is the value of a 2? Minus 1 by 2. So now we need to go to third term a 3, then a 4, then a 5. So now go to a 3. What is a 3? a 3 is what a 3 minus 1 divided by 3. That is a 2 by 3. And what is a 2? a 2 is minus 1 by 2 into 3. That is minus 1 by 6. This is a3. Now we got the value of a3. Now we go to what? a4. an is what? an is a base n minus 1 by 2. Now I need a4. What is a4? a4 minus 1 by 2. That is a3 by 2. And in last case we got a3. What is a3? Minus 1 by 6. That is minus 1 by 6 into 2. That is minus 1 by 12. This is a4. Now go to a5. What is a5? a5 minus 1 by 2. That is a4 by 2. That is minus 1 by 12 into 2. That is minus 1 by 24. So now we got all the 5 terms. Club them. They want 5 sums. a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. 5 terms in the series. So they want you to find first 5 terms. a1 they give minus 1. a2 minus half. Minus half. And a3 a3 is minus 1 by 6, A4, A4 is minus 1 by 12, and A5 minus 1 by 24. Formula is ready, just you should substitute. But if you want A3, you should know A2. If you want, directly you can't go for A5. Without A4, you can't go to A5. Because in A5, we'll get A4. In A4, we'll get A2, A3, like that. So, previous term value helps you to find the next value. Now, Write the first five terms from 11 to problem 13 they told. So now we are in the 13th problem. A1 is given equal to A2 equal to 2. Means A1 is equal to 2 and A2 is also 2. First two terms they give. A1 value is also 2. A2 value is also 2. And then we have to follow the formula. An is An minus 1 minus 1. A1 is done. A2 is done. Now we should go for what? A3 in the place of N put 3. Put n is equal to 3. I also mentioned n should be greater than 2. Greater than 2 means 3. a3 becomes what? a base 3 minus 1 minus 1. That will become a base 2 minus 1. a base 2 value, you know, what is a2? 2. 2 minus 1. What is 2 minus 1? 2 minus 1 is 1. Now you got the value of a3. What is the value of a3? a3 is exactly 1. Now you go to a4. a4 will become what? You substitute in the formula. A n. What is A n? A n is A n minus 1 minus 1. So, A 4 becomes A 4 minus 1 minus 1. That is A 3 minus 1. What is A 3 value? 1 minus 1. So, A 3 is also here. It will become 2 minus 1. Yeah, A 3 is also 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, now we got A 4 as 0. Now, go to A 5. What is A 5? Substitute in the formula. A n minus 1 minus 1 a5 minus 1 minus 1 that is a4 minus 1 a4 we got 0 0 minus 1 gives you minus 1 so now write the series what is the series a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so first number they gave a1 they gave 2 a2 they gave 2 but a3 we got what is a3 you got 1 a4 you got 0 a5 just now we got minus 1 2 comma 2 comma 1 comma 0 comma minus 1. Again, every term depends on the previous term. If I want a5, I need to know a4. If I want a4, I need to know a3. If I want a3, a3, if I want, I should know a2, a2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, like that. So, all of you got this. Now, we have other approach that is, write the first term of each of the sequence from 11 to 13 and obtain corresponding series. We have done this. Now, 14th one. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by, they give Fibonacci sequence, a1, a2, both are 1, 
1 is equal to a1, a2 means a1 value is also 1, a2 value is also 1. And a n is, nth term is very interesting, a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. Means the nth term is sum of the previous two terms, nth term is sum of the previous two terms. And they want the value to be generated for a n plus 1 by a n for n is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, when n is equal to 1, so first we will write 14th problem. They want Fibonacci series. Okay, A1 they give. A1 they give. What is A1? 1. A2 they give. What is A2? 2. And AN they give. What is AN? AN previous two terms minus 1 plus AN minus 2. Then they want AN plus 1 by AN. They want ratio of AN plus 1 by AN. So, first we will generate the terms. I will go for A1, A2, we know A3. What is A3? A3 minus 1 plus A2. So, that will become A3 minus 1 is how much? 2. 3 minus 2 is how much? 1. A2 plus A1. A2 plus A1, you know A2 is 2, A1 is 1. So, 3. So, now you got A3. You got A3 value. Then you generate A4. What is A4? A n minus 1 means what? A 4 minus 1 plus A 4 minus 2. This is the formula they give. A 3 plus A 2. And A 3 just now we got. What is A 3? 3. A 2 is what? Previous term. A 2 they give 2. 5. So now we got A 4. A 4 value is 5. Then you go to A 5. What is A 5? A 5 minus 1 plus A 5 minus 2. That is A 4 plus A 3. That is previous two terms. 5 plus A 3. What is A 3? 3. 8. Now you got A 5 terms. So you got first 5 Fibonacci terms. A 1, A 2, A 3, A 4, A 5. So 1 comma 1 comma previous two terms if you are adding you will get 3, 5 and 8. 1, 1, 3, 5, 8. This is a Fibonacci series. Then they want other thing a n plus 1 by a n. a n plus 1th term by a n. Means n is equal to 1 means a2 by a1, a2 by a1, a2 by a1 is 1 by 1, 1. Then if I take uh, a n is equal to 2 means a3 by a2, a3 by a2 is third term by 3 by 1, that is 3. Then they want a4 by a3, a4 by a3 is a4 divided by a3, that is 5 by 3. And a 5 by a4. a5 by a4 means previous two terms. That is 8 by 5. So, 1, 3, 5 by 3, 8 by 5 constitute an plus 1 by an. an plus 1 by an of the Fibonacci series. So, I hope all of you understood this. They gave formula. We have to generate the series and each term depends on the previous term and we also got Fibonacci term. Fibonacci means what? A term obtained by adding previous two terms. That's why first two terms they gave 1, 1. Remaining you should generate. Then you should take the ratio of a n plus 1 by a n and we got it. I hope all of you understood this. And I'll see you in my next session with arithmetic progression. Thanks for attending. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.